Hello everyone, welcome to this latest tutorial and today it's a nice, clean, simple sports edit uh, phone wallpaper and it's featuring Eden Hazard. Pretty simple to make, we've got our main character here, we've masked away a few of the hard edges, we've added a glow in the background and we've just accentuated the highlights and uh, just created a little bit more uh, HD texture to the player. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So. Uh, I'm going to press Command N, so I'm working on a new document. You can also go to a File and New Document, but uh, Command N, okay. And I'm working on a clipboard of width 1200 by 1600, and it's portrait orientation. You can make it whatever you want. If you want to do it for your phone, your iPhone 7, 8, 10, Android, whatever, just give a Google of the uh, pixel dimensions, and you can just plug them in there and make them for your phone or for your friends or social media. 300 uh, pixels print resolution, RGB color, 8-bit, uh, it's just gone back there, and white background to start with. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is going to get rid of this little black padlock, uh, this little padlock, sorry. I'm going to fill this uh, screen like a, a blacky gray. So I've already got my color selected here. Now the one I've chose, the hex code is 292929, so 292929, 29, 29. I'm going to click OK. Okay, I'm going to hold Command on my keyboard and Backspace, and it's going to fill it. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm going to go to my folder here, and I'm going to drop in Hazard. And I got this image from Footy Renders, as you can see here on the on the layer name. Okay, Footy Renders is a great website. I would highly recommend you go check them out. Uh, it's just when I'm being lazy, and I can't be bothered to uh, cut them out, players out with a pen tool. And I'm going to size them up. I'm going to press Enter. Now. I'm going to just have a look and press bring my constraint tool up again. Now, I'm holding shift and alt so it doesn't grow out of proportion, but if you're using the new version of Photoshop, okay, you don't need to do that. You can just uh, move it around. And I'm going to go somewhere just a little, little bit high because when you put the Real Madrid logo in, down the bottom there. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to add the glow in. So I'm going to select the bottom layer. I'm going to click, and click on a new layer, and I've got my gold selected there. I'm going to go something like that, so BA914A, BA914A, okay, if you're using a different player, you can do is, uh, you can select a colour from um, from the shirt by pressing I, so I've gone for a bit of a brighter colour there, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select a soft brush tool, and I'm going to use my bracket keys on my keyboard, make them a little bit larger, and I'm going to go Maybe a little bit larger. That looks a lot better. Let's compare it to this one. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to nudge him down a little bit. Hit V on my keyboard. I'll come on T. I'm just going to bring that glow down a little bit. Something like that. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take N Hazard and I'm going to improve his high definition, his texture. So I'm going to press Command J. I'm going to create a new layer or press Command Z to go back, you can just drag and drop him onto the new layer icon at the bottom and it creates a new layer. I like to use shortcuts, keeps a weak workflow going. Uh, right, so this new layer, this top layer that I've got, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. Two pixels, make sure you get your preview on so you can uh, see what it's gonna look like and click OK. Not looking great, you're thinking what's going on. But I'm going to go to overlay, and you can see we've increased its definition and its texture. Now, on this image, I think it's a little bit too much. That's just me personally. So I'm just going to drop the fill down to around 60. 60. So again, you can just see we've just increased it a little bit. In fact, I'm going to bump up to about 65. There we go. And it's looking fantastic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge these two layers. So I'm going to select the top layer. I'm going to select the bottom layer, I'm going to right click or double click if you're on a Mac, I'm going to go down, I'm going to click merge layers, and then out as one. Okay, fantastic, right. What we need to do is we just need to get rid of this hard edge. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select layer mask at the bottom here, this little icon. First of all, I've got my soft brush tool, I'm going to make sure I've got black selected over here, I've got opacity and flow up at 100%, and I'm just initially going to just kill off that, that straight line a little bit. Just 
just blend it in a little bit, just something like that. Okay, and then I've got a brush here. I'm going to link it in the description below. It's from um, Feelearn, another incredible YouTube uh, tutorial source. Um, millions of viewers, probably the most famous one on YouTube. So go check go check that out. And it shows you how to use this brush properly. Uh, but that being said, I, uh, I'm including it because I really like the brush. I'm going to drop my flow down to 50. I'm going to drop the opacity down to 50 as well. Let's see how we get on. Okay. And I'm just going to paint away a little bit. Now, it's not load doing loads great now. I'm going to be careful around the hand because I am going to paint that hand back on because I want it to be um, sticking out. So I'm just going to paint away around there. And you can see the smoke starting to take effect. And we're going to get rid of that like softer line that we created as well. Remember, don't just uh, hold it down. Okay, keep dropping and picking it up just so it changes angles, changes shapes. And around there as well. Okay, just going to go across his hand a little quickly. And just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to move on. But if you can see on this image, okay. Really take your time and you can blend it in quite well. Okay, what I did say is I'm just going to come back onto this hand. So we've got black selected here, so we need to paint back on. So I'm going to choose a hard brush. I'm going to reduce the size again. Yeah, that's okay. Swap that over to white. So we're going to paint back on because we're working non-destructively. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay, it's flow still on 50. That's okay. I'm just going to paint that hand back on a little bit. Okay, you see I've gone a little bit too far there on the white. I'm just going to come off onto this short. So try not to go into his shorts. Okay, just lift off that mouse every so often so you don't undo all your work. That's looking good. Command zero to come out. So that's looking fantastic. What we're also going to do is put it back to black. And I'm going to keep the opacity there, but I'm going to reduce it down to 30 a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go back to this uh, smoke brush that I had. Okay, and just where it's gold, I'm just going to paint away slightly. Less is more, that is the key on this one. Less is more. So just on the highlights bit as well. Nothing, um, nothing down here on the arm where there is no gold. We're going to add some more to it shortly. Come around onto his head, painting away, a little bit too much there, okay, yeah that looks okay to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a, in fact, let me come back a bit, took a bit too much off there, yeah that looks a bit better. Okay now I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to hold alt and hover between the two layers and this is going to create a clipping mask, all right? Or you can just uh, right click, it says release there, but if I uh, change that, it'll say create clipping mask. Clipping mask, so now this layer only directly affects the layer underneath. Got my soft brush tool again. I'm going to reduce the size, okay. Flow, bring it down to 20 now. Okay, I'm just going to paint on a little bit. Again, less is more. Have that pass it down, have that flow down. Just paint on the top of his head, around here. A lot of people are sending me um, great images uh, on Instagram, which is great to see, uh, of the work. Uh, I'll just say, just concentrate on your shading as well. Um, for example, you're not going to put the orange glow down here because the glow's up here, it's, it's away from them. So again, take your time on that one, as you can see. I've done that there, I've just noticed a mistake there as well on this, which I'm going to rectify in a second. Um, so yeah, that's looking okay. You can really take your time on that glow. Maybe not as strong down here, but on these arms and shoulders, yep, yeah, for sure. And that's looking good, command zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that glow a bit across a bit. Level it up a little bit more. That looks a lot better. 
Oh, I've got a line there now. What I'm going to do is Command T. I'm just going to have to make it a bit bigger. And bring it across. That's better. So if you've noticed I had a bit of a line there, I just made it a bit bigger because I've already clicked it on. Anyway, I digress. Okay, what I'm going to do now is click select this bottom layer. I'm going to hit T for my text tool and I'm going to select a white color. Okay, and I'm going to go for, let's just see what text I use on this one. Yeah, but fold, I, could, I can't pronounce that, grotesque. Again, I'll link in the description below. Uh, this one and I'm going to hit number seven and I'm going to drag him down it's lagging a little bit as Hazard where's squad number seven I'm going to hit OK OK you may just need to uh, sorry just adjust the size OK I'm using 330 uh, height pixels resolution whatever you want to call it um, just pick a font that you, you're going to prefer. Now, if you notice, okay, got a bit of a line there from where we masked Hazard away. So I'm going to create a layer mask on this one. I'm going to hit B on my brush tool. Again, if I'm speaking too fast, just press J on your keyboard and it'll uh, take you back. And 10 seconds or so. I'm going to just get rid of those lines there. Fact, keep that flow down and the opacity. Okay, you can work around it. Just make sure there's no lines creeping in. You can see them there on his shoulder. Just nudge them, okay. And down here, that's where I just saw it before. I'm just going to paint away. And that looks fantastic. We've still got a bit of a glow coming on there onto the player. Command zero. And that's looking good and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the uh, Real Madrid logo in wait for it to load up resize it down with my constraints tool okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bottom layer I'm going to drag the ruler across in it should snap in there we go hit V command T Shift and Alt, and there is our finished product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Something just quick and simple, nice, clean, sports edit uh, for you to consider. Like I said, um, high definition really uh, accentuates your character. The glow, again, just be careful using different players. Um, I think the gold and white. It, it works quite well. And with your masking, just less is more. Um, so, yeah, just nice, quick, simple, uh, quick tutorial, nice and clean. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave some uh, comments in the description below. If you liked it, hit the like button. And if you've not done so already, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn Photoshop through sports editing and manipulations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.